This is the free motion quilting tutorial for hearts and spirals. This design is stitched by first starting with a simple heart shape. And you're going to kind of pivot around it and swirl into a spiral. Then simply backtrack a bit and swirl into another heart shape. I really tried to create this design exactly the way it's named meaning I try to always stitch a heart and then a spiral and then a heart and then a spiral. While this may not look like it, this is actually a design stitched very similar to stippling. You're stitching a leading line, a line that just kind of branches off and wiggles around, and you're taking that line throughout your quilting space in a very independent way. Now the big difference you might notice is that I'm stitching shapes, I'm stitching hearts, and I'm stitching spirals, but that doesn't change the fact that the design works very similarly. It's kind of just this wiggly, almost vine-like design that's going to fill your quilting space very similarly. So you can make this line and the hearts and the spirals within it as big or as small as you want them to be. You can make them huge and fill the surface of a bed quilt very, very easily. Or you can make them very tiny, as I'm showing you in this demonstration on a four inch square. It's really just a matter of consistently filling the space. And you can see how I'm just kind of nestling these shapes together. The hearts kind of create a little pocket for the spirals to swirl up and around. And then I try and squish another heart in anywhere there's a little space that needs to be filled. It's just a matter of looking at and estimating the space that you have. And every once in a while I might stitch on an area thinking that I need to go somewhere and I might not go in that direction. It sometimes helps to just stop with your needle in the down position and look at where you need to go next. Do you need to swirl into that upper area, into that little pocket of space? Or do you need to travel on down and create a new line? It's really just a matter of looking at the space that you have to fill and filling it in the most consistent manner possible. It's not always perfect. Even I leave gaps in some places. You can see I'm kind of wiggling in here to fill in these gaps. And I had to fill it with two spirals just to make sure that it's consistent and didn't leave that open space. That might be noticeable. But it's a really fun design and I hope you'll give this one a try. Here is Hearts and Spirals. Find over 300 more free motion quilting designs with video tutorials just like this one at freemotionproject.com.